What's up, BTY Nation? Coach Bobby back here again talking about the alarm clock, right? And, and how you get up every morning. So we all are, are a, a slave to the alarm clock, right? We, we, we get up every morning to go to a job most of us don't love, right? We get up every morning to an alarm clock to live a life most of us don't love, right? We get up to an alarm clock to do tasks that most of us don't want to do or enjoy. And so the approach is always the same. Every morning at 5 a.m. or 6 a.m., your alarm goes off, you might hit snooze once or twice, and then you eventually get up and get on with your day, right? You go to work, take kids to school, drop off whatever it is, you might go to the gym, whatever it is, whatever it is, but you are a victim, a slave to the alarm clock because you don't have any passion in your life. You don't have any reason in your life. You don't have anything that gets you out of bed that says, you know what, this is one more day toward this, toward that, toward a dream, toward a vision, right? At one point, you probably had that. At one point, you had a, an idea of what you wanted to be, right? 20 pounds lighter, a CEO, a great mother, uh, a director of sales, whatever it is. You had a vision, a starter on varsity, uh, a scholarship uh, winner, whatever it is. You wanted to do something. And so when you got up, you got up invigorated. You got up excited. And I need you to find something that, that's out there that gives you that back. Right, stop walking through life on accident. Stop waking up every morning on accident, right? When the alarm goes off, you wanna go back to sleep. Wake up with some, with, with, with some drive and, and walking towards something. That's what's missing with most of us, right? With many of us. And I had a time in my life recently where I was going through the motions, right? And, and, and until recently, that was never the case with me, right? When I was between eight and, and 20, Right? I woke up every day trying to be an NFL football player. Right? And then between 20 and maybe 35, I got up every day trying to be the best financial uh, executive I could be. Right? So football and finance were my two first Fs. Now I'm doing fitness, right? And for a time, I was passionate about it and I was invigorated when I first started it, right? I woke up walking toward my destiny, but it got hard. It got challenging. It got difficult. It got frustrating. And then it became a mundane task on some days, on many days, right? Getting up, going through the motions, right? Coming here, trying to coach, still giving what I could, but it wasn't the same. Right, the alarm would go off and I didn't, I didn't spring out of bed at 4 a.m. in the morning the way I did in the beginning. And so recently I said, you know what? I gotta find my passion again. I gotta find my drive again. I gotta find my motivation again. And, and it came to me, I said, you know what? There's more to what I'm doing. You know, the part of me that, that, that dreamt when I was eight years old about playing in the NFL. The part of me that dreamt about being a financial executive was, was always the same foundation. I wanted to be an impact on this world, an impact on people's lives, right? Through football, through finance, whatever it was, I wanted to be somebody that when I walked around, people saw it and, and were drawn to it, and then they gave me an opportunity to connect. Right? At first, I was looking at me as, as, as a football player who could go into schools and, and, and impact young people. Right? And then it became, if, if, I, was, if I was a young African American wearing a three-piece suit walking around, I would be able to engage with young people and engage with older people about, about combining the, the, the fitness and, and the aesthetics and the drive and the academics into one, into one body and giving kids the idea that you can be a, a nerd and cool at the same time. Right, that was my drive. So, so I, I, I walked through life, you know, from, from eight years old until, tw until 35 with these two visions that were crystallized and every day it was concrete. I'm getting up, I'm getting up, I'm moving toward this. And then I lost that for a little while, guys. I lost it for a little while, but it's back. Cause now I know, now I know what I'm doing. Now I know what I want. I want to help you live BTY. I want to help you fight for your dream. I want to help you walk halfway the distance between what you are now and what you know you can be. 
I want you to stop waking up every morning and, and lamenting the fact that it's one more day and looking forward to Wednesday because it's hump day. Looking forward to Friday because that's that's a cocktail hour day. And looking forward to Saturday because that's sleep in day. I want you to look at every day the same way. It's one more day to get better. It's one more day to be great. It's one more day to live BTY. Right? Not, not, not going through life accidentally. Right? Not going through life, hitting the alarm clock, hitting the snooze button, can't wait to get home and sit on the couch and watch the episode of whatever the fuck you watch. Right? Not waiting until, until Wednesday night or Friday night to go out and have drinks. Right? To live your life on accident. I'm here to help you to, to revisit that and live every day on purpose, to live every day with purpose. That's why I'm here where I am. That's why I'm passionate. Right? Because I live every single moment of my life with purpose. Right? To get better, to be better, to grow, to learn, to walk forward. Every day, to make my parents proud of me. To make my children proud of me. Right? To move forward. Right? So yeah, I have the same alarm clock as you do. Right? Mine's at 4 a.m. on Monday, Wednesday, Friday at 4.45 on Tuesday and Thursday. Earlier than yours probably. So yeah, I have the same alarm clock. It gets me up. But you know what? So my alarm clock, my alarm clock wakes me up. The difference is my passion gets me up. Right? My alarm clock wakes me up, but my passion gets me up. <laughs>